Hello folks, today the question is 2019, May, June, paper 42, and the question number is 10. The first question tells us to state Faraday's law of Lerman induction. It has been stated many times, so I am not going to delete this thing. So I'll go directly to the second question. It says an idler transformer is illustrated in figure 10.1. So this is the transformer. It has got a primary coil it has got a secondary coil and uh, those two coils has been housed in wounded uh, around a soft uh, iron core this is the emf source and uh, here the secondary coil has been uh, connected to a load resistor the question is explain uh, why uh, when there is a alternate current in the primary coil there is a current in the load resistor so the first thing that we have to remember is Whenever there is current here, whenever there is a current in primary coil, current in primary coil, primary coil, it gives field lines. It gives field lines. And since there is soft iron core here, almost all of the field lines will be going to, will be linked to the secondary coil. Very less of them will be coming out. So most of them will be led to the secondary coil. Now, when there is a uh, alternate current here what I mean is the field lines will get uh, will expand will increase or decrease sometimes they increase sometimes they decrease sometimes they become intense sometimes they become less intense uh, sometimes they expand sometimes they contract so whatever happens here it will give uh, us a changing flux here changing flux because of this thing sometimes increasing sometimes decreasing sometimes um, from this side sometimes from this side and so on and because of that changing flux here, changing flux here in this closed circuit, there will be EMF, EMF here. And because of that EMF, there will be some current. So there are four steps here. Uh, one thing is that it produces, uh, the current produces magnetic field. The magnetic field will be linked to this because of the iron core. Since it changes, the magnetic field flux also will change, will change. And uh, the changing flux uh, in this closed coil will give a certain EMF. And this EMF gives the current in the load resistor. So these are the steps that need to be uh, explained in your answers. Now the next question. The next question says, the primary coil in B has, the primary coil that uh, we just viewed, it has uh, 2700 uh, turns, 2700 turns. The secondary coil has got uh, 450 turns. So let me use, uh, use the symbols proper symbols there so this is a primary it is NP it is NS the AMFE applied across the primary coil is given by the expression this much so this uh, 220 volt is equal to is equal to E max E max for primary for primary and that's equal to 220 volt where E is measured in volts and T is, is the time in seconds calculate the root mean square EMF induced in the secondary coil so we are given primary here so let us first find the primary maximum no, sorry secondary maximum this is the primary maximum from this ratio from this value we have to find the uh, secondary coil maximum so the equation will be equal to uh, e, e max for secondary secondary by uh, E max for primary should be equal to ns by np so that's a uh, regular <coughs> expression for transformer which gives us e max for secondary would be equal to ns by np into e max for primary and that will be equal to equal to ns is uh, 450 and np is uh, 2700 and this is equal to 220 volts so this becomes equal to let me use a calculator here. So it is a 450 divided 2700 equal to into 220. And that becomes 36.66 like this. So it is 36.7 volts. So this is Emax secondary. So what we require is secondary but RMS. So we will have ERMS secondary should be equal to uh, Emax, Emax and secondary by root 2 uh, that should give us that should give us 36.7 by root 2 
equal to so this thing divided root 2 is uh, 2 power 0.5 like this like this so this becomes 25.9 something something 25.9272 and so on volt so when you write it in 3sf it becomes equal to 25.9 only so it is 25.9 volts so this gives the correct answer to this question so not much difficult so it just just goes following the simple principles of our formula